Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Power and Revolution with North Korea, episode three on our series. I was kind of letting time tick by here. How's the Secret Service doing? Did we actually... Are we having any luck with the... Spying here? So we got a couple more people we could put under surveillance. All right, public opinions going up. Oh, public finances, because we're in the... Because uh, we managed to turn the economy around. And we're still in the process of infiltrating this group. I'm thinking we could probably spend a little bit money on improving our secret service. We should get a boost to um, people liking us based off of based off of um, security as well. Cryptography and cybersecurity. We actually probably fight against terrorism. These are usually pretty affordable to some degree. Let's get, definitely get agent training up there. All right, so we'll go ahead and confirm that. That'll help us kind of clean up our terror situation a little bit easier. And we got a budget excess of what? 7.7, .7, so 700 something million. 1.1%, nice. All right, popularity going up with our character right now. All right, and we should start paying our debt off as we cycle through. Totalitarian extreme left. Well, that's interesting. All right. Research. Matter sciences we need. Military. We're pretty good. Aeronautic. ICT, cybersecurity. Matter sciences. Industry, agro, food. All right, let's confirm that. All right, we got to get purchasing power up as well. Education's going up now, so we're going to be able to turn that around. Happiness already going up. Boy, we're ranked really low, though. Human rights is going to be tricky. Purchasing power we should be able to do. Um... All right, let's work on housing here. This will actually help unemployment. So let's go ahead and start rehabilitating some of these houses here. All right, let's do uh, 10 of them. And... Uh, uh, this is fine. Let's do that. Long distance education, a viable solution. All right. Ah, food. That was one thing we need to deal with. So we got to buy some rice. Try to deal with our food. That's going to eat up a lot of our money. Who had a lot of rice? Thailand, Vietnam. China's probably got a lot of rice. Let's uh, request a meeting with China in an attempt to turn our rice situation around. Uh, we could also sell. Let's meet with Iran, I guess. Because we could sell some stuff to them, maybe uh, some chemicals. We could probably sell cement to Iran. Um, what else? Probably coal. Now, I did notice that all of our food is subsidized. Or not subsidized, it's uh, nationalized. And I really would like to not nationalize it, but... Getting the government to vote on that's going to be impossible. See, industry is not, they're not all national. They are, oh my god. All of this is nationalized. Which means we've got total control over it, which isn't a bad thing for some of it. Um, 
we actually might be able to turn some of our food around because it's nationalized. Okay, let's mess with rice for a minute. We can subsidize it. We can adjust the salary. Let's see. We can adjust the total workforce. Impose a price reduction. So if we increase the workforce. Wow, there's already a lot in that workforce. What if we increase it by... Like... Oh, 100,000 costs us 7 million. Okay, let's do that. And let's start uh, adjusting the salary maybe. Let's hold off on that. Let's see what the let's increase the workforce. We'll see how that affects our unemployment. That's a lot. Really? Unemployment's already down to 0.94%? We don't have a minimum wage? Okay. We could actually increase, we get a budget economy if we lower employment agencies and checks on the unemployed receiving payment. 5.6, which will make up some of the money. Unemployment's really low. We really don't need it to go lower. We kind of want to keep a, you got to have a certain, you don't want un unemployment to get too low because then it, it's hard for businesses to find employees. You got to have like a healthy balance of unemployment and uh, employment. Taxation, that was something I wanted to work on. Employer social security payments, company tax, tax on company turnover. I can get a budget economy of 232. Okay, let's do this meeting real quick. We want to try and buy rice. Ugh. We were short about 2 million, I believe. Uh, actually 1.2 million, a little around there. So if we buy one right there, 1.271. It's gonna cost us 744 million to buy it. My average purchase price, 542. Can I get it for like 410? Can I beat them up real hard on it? And can we make this more like, say, just like a million? I'd love to just grow our own. No, let's buy some food. Just buy a little bit. Let's buy a little bit of rice. We can make that work. We don't have to buy all of it. Let's buy like 500,000 of it. We can always revisit and buy more later. Let's do 600,000. Whew, that's rough. Okay, let's see if we can get it for cheaper than that. We'll start at 410. Okay, they don't even, they were didn't even like the fact that I started there. Four ninety eight. Oh, my God. No, four ninety eight, five hundred. Oh, they want to sell me what? That ain't right. Oh, 
What? You don't even have that much. How are you gonna? I don't even need them. Okay. All right. Never mind. We'll just fix our own food problem, and I'll save the money. We'll subsidize rice so it starts growing. We'll put some fat subsidies in there. We'll see if we can make up the difference. Let's do, uh, so this is a mountain millions. Let's go ahead and throw 20, let's do 10 million. All right, so rice is subsidized now, or it will be here soon. So we'll have, we'll have that there. We'll see if that uh, encourages growth. We can actually watch rice and see if it grows. Agricultural has gone up because of it. All right, yeah, so we're going to watch to see if the GDP goes up and employment goes up for rice. Um, average price, okay. Potatoes is going up. Cereals and fish and fishing we're going to throw subsidies at too. So let's do that, but let's do this meeting first. Sure. And we're going to create a sales contract, see if we can sell some stuff to Iran here. Let's start with the building, housing, and roadway. Okay, chemical. So we have a little bit left over that we haven't traded. Um, they actually have a pretty high purchase price. So let's see if we can get this up. Nah, it's not even close, guys. Come on. Not even close. Okay, so that's fine. For how much? 619,000? Is that it? Or is that in millions? How was it, what, what was that for? That didn't look right. What did I... Hmm, that was weird. Okay, how about uh, computer hardware? Fish. Um, coal was something we had a lot of. That we still have a lot of. Wow, they'll give us some serious money for coal. If we can get that up to their more higher purchase price too. Oh yeah, that's a lot of money. Yes. 385. No, we could do better. We could do better than that. 415 is pretty good. Can I get like maybe 418? Get me another 12 million? Yep. Nice. Almost $3 billion in coal. Cement? Nope. Cereals? No. So we've sold almost everything. Iron was something we had a surplus of. They do too. So does. Steel. Nope. They got good production in steel. Tobacco. 13 million is all we have left for that. Wood? Nope. Zinc? I don't think we have any zinc. Yeah. Bauxite was another one we didn't have. Bottled water? No. Fish, fowl, uh, maybe fuel. They, Yeah, they're going to produce a lot of fuel. They would. Gold, but there's none there. Lead, mill, mm, corn. 118. We actually got a pretty large production. It's only our rice that the consumption's out of control. So we could sell this to them if we can get it a little bit higher to where their purchase price is. It might be worth, yep, that's even higher, 140 million. So that was corn. Paper, 20 million, eh, potatoes, 73 million. Railway construction. Okay. Okay. 
Can we buy anything from you? Food, particularly food. What do you have for rice? No. All right. Okay. Our infiltrated agent was. Ah, damn. According to expert situations in alarming North Korea, thanks to a Forge 2 mission, this information will not spread. Yeah, I know. We're trying to we're trying to fix that. We're gonna cut some other f subsidies. Let's go ahead and give a subsidy to potato. Potatoes. We'll subsidize that for 10 million. And we'll do a subs we'll subsidize. Corn. No, not sugarcane. We'll throw ten million into there. Vegetables. We're not even producing any vegetables. All right, we could try and grow this. There's no workforce right now. Uh, we don't have any available workforce, I don't think. I think unemployment's like super low. See, this is where it starts becoming... Low unemployment becomes a problem. Oh, 1.53. It's gone up a bit. Let's cut these programs. Maybe. If we cut the work week, does that make people like us or hate us? Ooh. If we cut it to 38. We have strong suspicions that this organization is preparing to carry out an attack in the next few hours. Oh boy. Purchasing power declines. Yeah, we gotta increase salaries. Let's go ahead and increase salaries for our farmers in the rice sector. I guess having it nationalized isn't a bad thing because we have control over it. But it would save us money if we were to, if you actually go to degree of nationalization, you totally privatize it. We'd save almost $3 billion privatizing it. But it's nice to be in control of it, I guess. Let's up their salary to three. It's only going to cost us $22 million. It should, ooh, public finances that hit again. That should actually increase purchasing power. We'll be able to track that here in a second. Just let it go up and let it cycle through. Anytime you increase his salaries, you start increasing purchasing power. So we can start probably doing some salary raises across the board. We just got to be careful. We don't want to make a bubble here. Surplus is pretty good now. We got $1 billion in excess. If we can get it up to like $4 billion, that'd be pretty good. And we're just going to try to watch and see if we get purchasing power to go up. It's actually going down. Employment going down. National wealth is where it's at now. It's pretty good, though. Development since the start of the game, anyways. Espionage. In light of recent events, we'll proceed to cross-check all our intel. So what happened? There was a terrorist attack, right? Maybe. No. Got to try infiltrating these guys again. Place these guys under surveillance. All right, civil servants. Average monthly salaries. It's pretty good. How much does the police get paid? 16 monthly salary. How about the army? 16 monthly salary. Okay. So we could establish a minimum wage. It would hurt businesses and it costs us almost $100 million.
nuclear threats, forest fires, pollution, drought, heat wave, flooding, mud flows, waste recycling. Wow, we actually got pretty good environmental. This is actually really good. Comment. We could. Uh, Go ahead and raise all of these because it won't cost us that much. And it'll uh, give us a nice boost. Okay, taxation is something I wanted to work on. Increasing the tax on company turnover. That gives me a budget economy of 242. Legislation's against it, though. Would they be... They would totally be against lowering, lowering company tax. I know they would. Oh, they're actually for it. People don't like it, though. What if we lower it by just 1%? Okay. What about employer social security? Okay. A little bit of a budget cost there. They'll only lower it by a percent. I don't need a lot to get the company turnover tax up. How much of... Oh, no, I do need a lot. There's no way they're going to go for that unless I make some serious changes. Wow, there's no middle or low bracket. There's just a high bracket tax. Wow. No way. That's kind of one way we could pump our economy. What if I lower this? There's a budget cost there. And people are for it. The, the parliament's against it. Okay, so that would that would go. That gives me a budget cost, but if I raise this two and I raise this one, that gives us a budget economy of almost half a billion? Really? Yeah, they're super against it though. The tr the tricky part would be getting the parliament to vote for it. They'd vote for that. They probably would vote for this. But they don't want to they don't even want to touch the low bracket. Value added tax, but that really hurts us. I'd like to lower the value added tax. It costs us 120 million. It'd give us purchasing power. People would like that. I think if we do it too much though, oh wow, they'd really like it. All right, let's just drop it 1%. So we could probably throw this in Okay, so we can throw this into something. So if we want to grow the economy, then I could probably drop company tax. We could probably increase company turnover tax. That would free up a lot of money and we could drop taxes in other areas. I think if I if I tap if I um put together a increased tax on company turnover and then I, I shove in uh, a lower value added tax. It would free up about $100 million and it would probably pass. Could do a tobacco tax too, but there's there's not, there's never any money in a tobacco tax. You know, oh wow, almost a million dollars. You know, what are you gonna do with that? Hmm. There's actually a pet tax you could do. All right. Well, we're at the end of this episode anyway, so we'll go ahead and leave it. Uh, next episode, we should get our quarterly, or by the end of March, we'll get our quarterly report here. Uh, currently got a budget excess of uh, almost a billion dollars. Surplus as percentage of the GDP, we got a 2.81% surplus. It's pretty good. And uh, our budget's still rated about 4.78. So we haven't really done anything to cause the budget to move. 
Um, I'd like to get the budget a little bit lower, but I think it's going to be kind of tricky because we really got to... There's like things that we got to spend the budget on. So... We might try and do some highways, maybe. Well, actually, if we're going to focus on anything, we probably should focus on high-speed internet because we don't have any. Even if we could just get like 1%, it's going to cost us a lot of money. We could probably do two. But it'll get us a really good popularity boost. All right, well, we'll mess around with uh, some of that stuff in the next episode. I got taxation I got to mess around with and, and all that. I'd love to link up a railroad or a highway to Russia. We don't have any right now. Not even here. Like a small like a small highway or railroad here would, wouldn't be that expensive. It might be something to consider. All right, with that being said, I'll leave it off here. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.